What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Wolf 4 in this issue 70 from Build to DeLorean from Back to the Future we're going to be building the right main door upper. Right, for the first thing you need to do guys make sure you get out all your pieces you will need to have the hinge panel also a hydraulic arm, an arm plate, you will need 4 NM screws and 4 QM screws. I prefer to put mine onto a piece of foam. If you do have a bit lying around, I do recommend doing this as it will stop any scratches from happening on the model and you having to get replacement issues. Right, so the first thing to do is put those four NM screws into place. I did try and do it in front of the camera, but you do kind of have to um, push a little bit hard to get them to go in. And you will need to make sure that the frame at the top is clicked in all the way around. As you can see here, this is where the screws go. And you will need to make sure that the wire that comes out doesn't get snagged. And there is a little tiny gap there for it to come through, as you can see here. Give you a nice detailed look at this bit so you can see where it's supposed to come through. And you just need to make sure the hinges are pointing downwards because we will be affixing this to the frame very shortly. The next thing you need to do guys is we'll need to put in 70B which is the hydraulic arm. You just need to push that into place and then there's a locating lug and then with the locating lug there is a screw that holds that down. That is just a QM screw that will just hold that hydraulic arm into place. Although this hydraulic arm doesn't look like it's going to be holding the door up into place because we have a block that came with it and I'm thinking that the block is going to be what holds that door up which is a bit of a shame and I hope there is something in the future that maybe makes that door stay up by itself. Right, so the next thing you need to do is affix the door to the door to the actual frame of the uh, model and that's held in by two QM screws and I'm just going to lift up to show you what it's like. I'm not actually too happy with how my door fits. I will probably need to do a bit of adjustment on it just because it doesn't sit down flush it kind of opens up and it seems fine but when it goes to go down and fit it doesn't um, you know click into place properly which is which is not great I'll just show you a demonstration here of that block that we have with this issue that should just slide underneath the door like so and that will hold it up which is I mean like I said it's not the best thing I'm probably not going to display it with the doors open I might do it with one of the doors open but to have that block in there just seems like a bit of a cheap fix to be fair. Uh, you have to make sure that obviously when you put the door on as well that that wire is fed through the main frame so that doesn't get snagged if it's going to be uh, open and closed a lot. We'll just take that block out and then we'll shut it down. Uh, I'm, I do have a little play with it in this video to try and make it work. I have fast forwarded through that but you know it doesn't seem to fit as flush as I want it to. But I will try and figure out what's going on. If not, I will have to ask for a replacement door and just hope that it's the door that is the issue. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it. All right, just flicking through the book, guys, we just have a little bit about a romance for Doc, just where there's talking about uh, Doc in the movie. And again, it tells you in the next issue that we're going to be getting the door locks and cables. But I can tell you now we won't be getting the door locks and cables, just like it said in the last one. We will, in fact, be getting the uh, right door door card again so thanks for watching guys uh, please subscribe see you guys on the next one take care now bye bye